Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. A man is pointing while holding a tray of drinks. B. Two people are sitting at a table in a cafe. C. A cashier is scanning items at a checkout counter. D. Customers are standing in line at a ticket counter. The correct answer is A. A man is pointing while holding a tray of drinks. Number 2. A. A man is serving lunch to children in a classroom. B. A teacher is writing on the board. C. A group of people is standing in an office. D. Two people are walking through a park. The correct answer is A. A man is serving lunch to children in a classroom. Number 3. A. A woman is giving a speech in a cafe. B. A businesswoman is attending a meeting. C. People are gathered at a cafe for lunch. D. A waiter is serving tea to a customer. The correct answer is A. A woman is giving a speech in a cafe. Number 4. A. A waiter is serving drinks to a group of people. B. People are waiting in line to order food. C. A waiter is assisting a customer with her laptop. D. A woman is reading a book at a restaurant. The correct answer is C. A waiter is assisting a customer with her laptop. Number 5. A. The worker is serving food. B. The manager is speaking. C. Two people are serving food. D. The person is reading a document. The correct answer is C. Two people are serving food. Number 6. A. A group of tourists is waiting in line at a museum. B. A chef is preparing food in a kitchen. C. People are checking in at a hotel. D. A man is giving a presentation in a boardroom. The correct answer is D. A man is giving a presentation in a boardroom. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening, question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. Do you know when the next train arrives? A. I'm not sure about the schedule. B. Yes, let's check the timetable. C. It should arrive in 15 minutes. The correct answer is C. It should arrive in 15 minutes. Number 2. Where did you buy that book? A. At the bookstore downtown. B. It's a great read. C. Yes, I finished it. The correct answer is A. At the bookstore downtown. Number 3. Can you give me directions to the main office? A. Sorry, I don't work here. B. Sure, it's two blocks from here. C. The office is usually very busy. The correct answer is B. Sure, it's two blocks from here. Number 4. How do you get to the airport from here? A. Take the highway and exit at Junction 24. B. Flight 305 departs at 6 p.m. C. I always book my tickets online. The correct answer is A. Take the highway and exit at Junction 24. Number 5. Who's coming to the presentation? A. I believe the whole team. B. It's in the conference room. C. I made some notes. The correct answer is A. 
I believe the whole team. Number six. Will you attend the conference? A. No, I've never been to a conference. B. Yes, I'm registered. C. I think the conference is tomorrow. The correct answer is B. Yes, I'm registered. Number seven. How do I get to the train station? A. It's a beautiful day. B. Take the second right and walk two blocks. C. I'll take a taxi. The correct answer is B. Take the second right and walk two blocks. Number eight. Who will lead the meeting today? A. We need more chairs. B. Mr. Thompson will. C. In the conference room. The correct answer is B. Mr. Thompson will. Number nine. When is the meeting scheduled to start? A. We need more time. B. I'll send you the details. C. It's at 3 p.m. The correct answer is C. It's at 3 p.m. Number 10. Who is presenting at today's seminar? A. I don't usually attend seminars. B. Mr. Johnson from the sales department. C. The seminar starts at 3 p.m. The correct answer is B. Mr. Johnson from the sales department. Number 11. Can you join us for dinner tonight? A. Dinner is my favorite meal. B. I'd love to, but I have other plans. C. I had lunch already. The correct answer is B. I'd love to, but I have other plans. Number 12. Do you know who is presenting at the meeting? A. I presented last week. B. The meeting room is on the third floor. C. It's John from marketing. The correct answer is C. It's John from marketing. Great job so far. Next is part three. Listening, conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one. Can you join the team lunch on Friday? I'd love to, but I have an appointment at 1 p.m. instead. That's a shame. Maybe next time. Definitely. Why can't the man join the team lunch? A. He has an appointment. B. He's on vacation. C. He has another meeting. The correct answer is A. He has an appointment. Number 2. Can you send me the sales report by Friday? Sure, I'll have it ready by Thursday night. Great. I'll review it on Friday morning and get back to you with any feedback. Sounds good. When will the woman review the sales report? A. Friday morning. B. Thursday night. C. Friday afternoon. The correct answer is A. Friday morning. Number 3. Can we reschedule our meeting to Friday? I'm out of the office on Friday. How about Thursday instead? That should work. Let's confirm it. All right. I'll send a calendar invite. What day is the man proposing for the meeting? A. Friday. B. Wednesday. C. Thursday. The correct answer is A. Friday. Number four. I'm planning to attend the marketing seminar next week. That sounds interesting. Do you need to register? Yes, the deadline is this Friday. You better hurry then. When is the registration deadline? A. Next Monday. B. This Friday. C. Tomorrow. The correct answer is B. This Friday. Number 5. Did you get a chance to book the rental car for our trip? Yes, I booked it yesterday. Do you need the confirmation details? Yes, please. Could you forward them to me? I'll do that right away. What did the woman do yesterday? A. Booked a rental car. B. Booked a hotel. C. 
booked flights. The correct answer is A. Booked a rental car. Number 6. Who is presenting the sales report tomorrow? I believe John is handling it. Good to know. I'll prepare the slides for him. Thanks. He appreciates your help. Who is preparing the slides for the sales report presentation? A. Woman. B. Another colleague. C. John. The correct answer is A. Woman. Number 7. Are you available to review the monthly report today? Yes, I can do it after lunch. Perfect. I'll bring the documents to your office. Great. See you then. When will the man bring the documents? A. This evening. B. After breakfast. C. After lunch. The correct answer is C. After lunch. Number 8. Are you going to attend the webinar this afternoon? Yes, it's essential for our project. It starts at 2 p.m., right? Exactly. See you online. Who? See you in line. See you then. When does the webinar start? A. At 1 p.m. B. This morning. C. At 2 p.m. The correct answer is C. At 2 p.m. Number 9. Hello. I'd like to book a table for two this evening. Sure. What time would you prefer? Around 7 p.m. would be perfect. Great. Your table is reserved. What is the man trying to do? A. Book a table. B. Reserve a conference room. C. Schedule an appointment. The correct answer is A. Book a table. Number 10. Have you reviewed the project proposal? Not yet. I was planning to do it this evening. Can you give me your feedback by tomorrow morning? Sure, I'll send it over first thing. When will the man review the project proposal? A. This afternoon. B. This morning. C. This evening. The correct answer is C. This evening. Number 11. Did you finish the client presentation? Not yet, but I'm almost done. Remember, it's due by 5 p.m. today. I know. I'm working on the final touches now. Great. Let me know if you need any help. When is the presentation due? A. At noon. B. By 5 p.m. C. Tomorrow morning. The correct answer is B. By 5 p.m. Number 12. Do you have time for a quick meeting later today? I'm free after 3 p.m. Perfect. Let's meet at 3.30 p.m. in my office. I'll be there. Where will the meeting take place? A. In the cafeteria. B. In a conference room. C. In the man's office. The correct answer is C. In the man's office. Let's dive into part 4. Listening talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Join us for our summer sale at Fashion Hub. Enjoy up to 50% off on all clothing items from June 15 to July 15. Don't miss this chance to upgrade your wardrobe for less. Visit our website for more details. When does the summer sale end? A. June 30th. B. July 15th. C. July 1st. The correct answer is A. July 15th. Number 2. We are thrilled to announce our new menu at the Gourmet Bistro. Our chefs have created delicious dishes using fresh, locally sourced ingredients. Come and experience the flavors of the season. Don't forget to ask about our daily specials. What is being announced? A. Restaurant renovation. B. New menu at the Gourmet Bistro. C. Chef's special event.
The correct answer is A. New menu at the Gourmet Bistro. Number 3. Our company's annual picnic is this Sunday at Riverside Park. Employees and their families are invited to attend. We have planned games, a barbecue, and a raffle. Please RSVP by Friday to ensure we have enough food and drinks for everyone. What should employees do by Friday? A. Attend games and raffle. B. Invite their families. C. RSVP to attend. The correct answer is A. RSVP to attend. Number 4. Our community center fitness classes are designed to suit all levels. Classes include yoga, Pilates, and high-intensity interval training. Members can book classes online and access our wellness resources. Join us to achieve your fitness goals in a supportive environment. What types of classes are offered at the community center? A. Cooking. B. Dance and music. C. Yoga and Pilates. The correct answer is B. Yoga and Pilates. Number 5. Welcome aboard this flight to New York. Our cabin crew is here to ensure you have a comfortable journey. Please pay attention to the safety demonstration and fasten your seatbelt when seated. We will be serving refreshments shortly. If you need any assistance, don't hesitate to ask. What are passengers asked to do during the flight? A. Stand during takeoff. B. Fasten their seatbelt when seated. C. Ignore the safety demonstration. The correct answer is B. Fasten their seatbelt when seated. Number 6. Welcome to the Wildlife Conservation Meeting. Today's agenda includes habitat preservation and species protection. Stay after the presentation for a networking session. What is included in today's agenda? A. Wildlife trade. B. Habitat preservation and species protection. C. Urban development. The correct answer is C. Habitat preservation and species protection. Number 7. Welcome to our annual charity auction. We're excited to present a variety of unique items, all proceeds of which will go towards supporting local animal shelters. The event will start at 6 p.m. and refreshments will be served. What time does the event start? A. 7 p.m. B. 6 p.m. C. 5 p.m. The correct answer is B. 6 p.m. Number 8. Attention shoppers, we are happy to announce a special discount sale in our store today. All electronics are now 20% off until closing time. Don't miss out on this opportunity to upgrade your gadgets at a lower price. Head over to the electronics section now. What items are discounted today? A. Electronics. B. Clothing. C. Groceries. The correct answer is C. Electronics. Number 9. Thank you for using our online banking service. For your security, do not share your password with anyone. Please update your contact information regularly. If you notice any suspicious activity, report it immediately. What should customers do if they notice suspicious activity? A. Ignore it. B. Report it immediately. C. Change their password. The correct answer is A. Report it immediately. Number 10. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seatbelts as we begin our descent. The local time at our destination is 3 p.m. and the weather is clear and sunny. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We hope you have a pleasant experience and a great stay ahead. What time will it be at the destination? A. 4 p.m. B. 2 p.m. C. 3 p.m. The correct answer is A. 3 p.m. Number 11. We are excited to announce the grand opening of our new art gallery downtown. 
featuring works from local artists and a live painting demonstration. The event starts at 5 p.m. and refreshments will be served. Come and support the local art scene. What time does the grand opening event start? A. With local artists' works. B. At 5 p.m. C. With a painting demonstration. The correct answer is C. At 5 p.m. Number 12. Attention all residents. The annual neighborhood cleanup event will be held this Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Please gather at the community center at 7.45 a.m. to receive your assignments and supplies. We encourage everyone to participate as this is a great opportunity to keep our neighborhood clean and safe. When should participants gather for the cleanup event? A. At 7.30 a.m. this Friday. B. At 7.45 a.m. this Saturday. C. At 8 a.m. this Sunday. The correct answer is C. At 7.45 a.m. this Saturday. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush, just follow along, and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin! Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one, the contract. To be signed by the client tomorrow. A, has, B, was, C, is being, D, is. The correct answer is A, has. Number two. He is responsible. Overseeing the project. A. On. B. For. C. With. D. Two. The correct answer is B. For. Number three. He apologized. Arriving late to the conference. A. For. B. On. C. About. D. Two. The correct answer is A. 4. Number 4. He is interested. Learning new languages. A. 4. B. 2. C. In. D. On. The correct answer is C. In. Number 5. They are interested. Expanding their business. A. At B two C in D four. The correct answer is C in. Number six. John can play the piano. His younger brother. A good as B well as C as good as D better than. The correct answer is D. Better than. Number 7. The report. Finished by the time they arrive tomorrow. A. Was. B. Has been. C. Will be. D. Will have been. The correct answer is D. Will have been. Number 8. His busy schedule. He found time to attend the meeting. A. Despite. B. Because of. C. Although. D. In spite of. The correct answer is. A. Despite. Number 9. The company provides excellent benefits. Its employees. A. 2. B. 4. C. At. D. With. The correct answer is A. 2. Number 10. They have finished the project if they had more resources. A. Could. B. Would. C. Must. D. Might. The 
The correct answer is A. Could. Number 11. We are. Finish the report by Friday. A. Planning. B. Plan. C. Plans. D. Planning to. The correct answer is D. Planning to. Number 12. The documents need to be sent. Tomorrow morning. A. On. B. In. C. By. D. At. The correct answer is C. By. Next up is Part 6. Reading, Text Completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number 1. The company picnic has been moved to the Central Park due to weather conditions. A. Unfavorable. B. Unfavorably. C. Unfavored. D. Unfavor. The correct answer is A. Unfavorable. Number 2. Dear Mr. Brown, we have received your request for a refund and will process it within five business days. Please be patient as we... Your refund. A. Processes. B. Processed. C. Process. D. Processing. The correct answer is... C. Process. Number 3. Dear team, our annual company picnic is scheduled for next Saturday. Please make sure to confirm your... Looking forward to seeing you all there. Best, HR department. A. Attendance. B. Attending. C. Attend. D. Attendee. The correct answer is... A. Attendance. Number 4. To all staff, please ensure that the maintenance checklist is completed. The end of each working day. Regards, Operations Manager. A. Before. B. At. C. Within. D. By. The correct answer is D. By. Number 5. In order to improve productivity, management has decided to New software. A. Implemented. B. Implement. C. Implementation. D. Implementing. The correct answer is B. Implement. Number 6. Hi everyone. Just a quick reminder that the office will be closed on Monday for a public holiday. Please plan your tasks. Best. Office Administrator A. Accordingly B. Accordance C. Accord D. Accomplish The correct answer is A. Accordingly And finally, Part 7, Reading, Reading Comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number 1. Happy Holidays! As a token of appreciation for your loyalty, we are offering a 15% discount on all products in our store from December 20th to January the 2nd. Visit us and enjoy this festive season with great savings. Warm regards, the marketing team. What is being offered in the announcement? A. A 15% discount on all products. B. A new product launch. C. Reward points accumulation. The correct answer is A. A 15% discount on all products. Number 2. Dear residents, this notice is to inform you of a planned power outage on Saturday, July 18th from 8 Honuk a.m. to 12 Honuk p.m. This maintenance work is necessary to upgrade the electrical infrastructure in our community. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and thank you for your cooperation. Warm regards. Community Management Why is there a planned power outage? A. To upgrade the electrical infrastructure. B. To install new streetlights. C. To conduct an inspection.
The correct answer is A. To upgrade the electrical infrastructure. Number 3. Dear Clients, As part of our commitment to continuous improvement, we are pleased to introduce a new customer feedback system. This will allow you to share your thoughts and suggestions more easily. Look out for an email with more details next week. Best regards, Customer Service Team. What is being introduced? A. A new customer feedback system. B. Extended support hours. C. A new product line. The correct answer is A. A holiday message. Number 4. We're excited to introduce our new loyalty program, designed to reward our most valued customers. Members will receive exclusive discounts, early access to new products, and points for every purchase that can be redeemed for future discounts. Sign up today to start enjoying these benefits. What is the main topic of this announcement? A. Product recall. B. New store location. C. Loyalty program introduction. The correct answer is C. Loyalty program introduction. Number 5. Hello team. We've received positive feedback from our recent client meetings and have secured several new projects. I want to thank everyone for their hard work and dedication. Let's continue this momentum and deliver excellent results. What is the main message? A. Team success in securing new projects. B. Announcement of a new meeting. C. Introduction of new policies. The correct answer is A. Discussion on client complaints. Number 6. Exciting news. Our new product line, featuring eco friendly materials and innovative designs, launches next Monday. Check out our website for early access and exclusive offers. Be among the first to experience products that are both stylish and sustainable. Join us in making a positive impact on our planet. What is the main idea of this message? A. Discount on existing products. B. Closure of the company. C. Announcement of a new product line. The correct answer is C. Job openings available. Number 7. Dear customers, please note that our store hours will be changing starting next month. We will now open at 8 a.m. and close at 9 p.m. from Monday to Saturday and from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. When will the store open on Sundays? A. 8 a.m. B. 9 a.m. C. 10 a.m. The correct answer is B. 9 a.m. Number 8. Join us for the annual company picnic at Riverside Park this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. There will be games, food, and fun activities for all ages. Bring your family and enjoy a day of relaxation with your colleagues. What is being announced in this message? A. A business conference. B. An annual company picnic. C. A new work policy. The correct answer is B. An employee training workshop. Number 9. Dear employees, due to upcoming maintenance works, the office cafeteria will be closed from September 20th to September 25th. During this period, please make alternative arrangements for your meals. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. Sincerely, Admin Team. Why is the cafeteria mentioned in the email? A. To notify of the temporary closure. B. To inform about a change in opening hours. C. To announce new menu items. The correct answer is A. To notify of the temporary closure. Number 10. This is a reminder that the annual performance reviews will be conducted next week. All employees are required to schedule a meeting with their supervisor to discuss their progress and goals for the coming year. Please contact HR for scheduling assistance. What is the main purpose of this text? A. 
Performance Reviews Reminder B. Holiday Schedule C. Promotion Announcement The correct answer is A. Performance Reviews Reminder Number 11. Dear Team, I'm pleased to announce that our project proposal has been approved. We'll begin the initial planning phase starting next Monday. Thank you for your dedication and hard work. Let's collaborate to ensure success. Best regards, Project Manager. What has been approved? A. A budget increase. B. The project proposal. C. A vacation request. The correct answer is B. The project proposal. Number 12. Dear residents, please be informed that the water supply will be interrupted in your area on Thursday, July 21st, due to essential maintenance work. The interruption will last from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your understanding. Why is the water supply going to be interrupted? A. Installing new pipelines. B. Essential maintenance work. C. A water pipe burst. The correct answer is B. Upgrading the water plant. Number 13. Notice. The elevator in Building B will be undergoing repairs from Tuesday, October 5th to Friday, October 8th. During this period, please use the stairs or the elevator in Building A. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and appreciate your understanding. What is the announcement about? A. A new parking policy. B. Elevator repairs in Building B. C. A fire drill in Building B. The correct answer is B. Elevator repairs in Building B. Number 14. Dear customers, we are excited to announce the grand opening of our new store in downtown Chicago. To celebrate, we are offering a 20% discount on all purchases made during the first week. Visit us at 123 Main Street, starting Monday, September 15th. We look forward to welcoming you. Sincerely, the management team. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To announce a store closure. B. To offer a permanent discount. C. To inform about a new store opening. The correct answer is C. To inform about a new store opening. Number 15. Attention. The fitness center will be closed for renovations starting this Monday and will reopen next Friday. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and thank you for your patience. Regards, management. What is the reason for the closure of the fitness center? A. It is being renovated. B. It is permanently closing. C. It is relocating. The correct answer is A. It is being renovated. Number 16. Dear subscribers, we are thrilled to announce the launch of our new monthly magazine, Tech Trends. The magazine will cover the latest innovations and trends in technology. Subscribe now to receive the inaugural issue for free. Best, the editorial team. What is the main topic of this announcement? A. A subscription price increase. B. The launch of a new magazine. C. A change in publication schedule. The correct answer is B. The launch of a new magazine. Number 17. To all residents, please be advised that there will be no water supply on Friday, October 11th, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. due to maintenance work. We apologize for the inconvenience and recommend storing sufficient water for the day. Thank you for your understanding. Sincerely, Building Management. What is the notice about? A. Emergency water shutoff. B. Scheduled water supply interruption. C. New maintenance staff. The correct answer is B. Increased water supply. Number 18. Valued customers. 
Due to inclement weather, our delivery services may experience delays. Our team is working hard to ensure your orders reach you as soon as possible. We appreciate your understanding and patience. Why might there be a delay in delivery services? A. Due to staff shortages. B. Due to a system outage. C. Due to inclement weather. The correct answer is C. Due to a large number of orders.